those who have attended my class a few weeks back and whenever I uh, give class, I talk about uh, sketching techniques and how you can, you can draw uh, from your imaginations. I will continue that subject and then we'll talk about some geometrical drawing today. Okay, so before I do that, let me uh, change my screen. Whenever we, we like to draw, we always think about theme and we always think about um, a reference drawing. So if I want to draw something, I would like to see some reference drawing, means what I'm going to draw today, right? So until uh, someone tells us or, or we can come up with some theme, it's, it's always difficult to draw. So now, I, like in today's class, if I show you, hey, we're going to draw this bird, now you know that, okay, we're going to draw this bird, and now, and then I will walk you through step by step, and then you're going to draw. So I want you to get out of this uh, rhythm, get out of this technique, I want you to develop something you can draw from your own. And, and so that, that's, that's what um, I'm going to talk about. And let's see if we can draw something different than, than the traditional drawing. You know, anyone can draw after practice this kind of bird and anyone can sketch after doing a few practice and make it more realistic. Uh, but that, that's all you want to do? do uh, like drawing landscape mountains house birds uh, portraits anyone can do that with some practice so what i'm saying that you continue doing that but you develop your own style bring some uniqueness use what you are learning in your school in your math class in your geometric class, in your calculus class, if I have high school kids uh, in this class. So you can use those science and physics and math in your drawing, and that's the way you're going to make your drawing more unique. There are, if, if your goal is just to draw what you see, so that, that's fine. If, if that's all you want to do it, there are millions of kids can do those things. What I want you to do, come up with your own style. Bring some uniqueness. Change the, you know, break rules in drawing. So we'll, we're going to see how we're going to break rules today in drawing and how we can bring some uniqueness in our drawings. Let's call it drawing one and two. So when we did drawing one, we sketch it with the pencils and I have seen a great results. Um, this time I have selected another bird, but we're not going to do the way we did number one. We're going to make some changes. So how we can bring changes um, when we are drawing this bird. Now, in my art classes, I always ask, uh, use the reference drawing, but don't copy reference drawing. Bring some, some changes in the drawing. And I have seen that kids are doing a great job and they add few changing, changes on that. But in today's class, I'm going to make completely, I'm going to make a different drawing. I'm going to bring complete, I'm going to change it, this drawing completely. And I will show you. Uh, now, I have this example. So what about if we change something like this? Do you like that? So I would call this, so I would call this a drawing three. Okay, so from two to three. So I'm going to change number two into three. I'm going to use the same technique what I taught 
talked about in my previous class when we were drawing this bird. Now, what those are the steps. The first I talked about, we need to look for the shape. Here are the shapes. Right? Here are all the shapes that we see. And this is, now right now you don't have to do anything, all the kids, uh, those who are listening and watching, yeah, just listen this. So same, first, same thing rules we're going to apply here, drawing the shape, and then uh, we're going to work on merging those shapes and modify it. And then the last one is we're going to work on detail. So the first thing is, uh, okay, so first thing is disregard all the details and then start looking at shapes and then modify shapes. And then the last, we're going to work on details, right? So this is, that's a way you can create some traditional drawing. Now in this drawing, number two, we're not going to look for the shape. We're going to look for the lines, okay? So let me, I'm going to switch uh, uh, camera to my desk and I'll show you what I mean. And before I do that, I'm going to show you something else. So I'm going to show you the same example with the simple pair. How are we going to do this thing, okay? So what I mean is, let's take this pair as an example. What I mean that, draw a simple lines. So we're going to draw lines each time. Straight line. Even though you can see that there, it, the pair is not straight. Here there is a curve. So I'm going to disregard the curve and I, I'm going to join the straight lines. So that's what I call a geometrical drawing. And I'm going to make it give some geometrical shapes. And then I will add more uh, shapes inside based on the light and the dark. So you can see that really how we can stop this, please. No more polls, please stop completely. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. So, so first we're going, we're going to draw all these lines and then we divide the shapes based on the lightness and the darkness. Now here you can see that light is coming from, let's say from this angle. So this portion is light. So I'm going to draw one line here. So this makes the one triangle. Then this portion is dark. Then I'm going to separate this portion because it is, it is dark. And this is dark. So I'm going to separate this portion. Now this is kind of uh, not very dark, not very light. So this is like, uh, um, I think it's about like different shades between light and dark, so I'm going to divide. So each time I see the different sh shades, I start dividing those things. So here I can divide one more, and here I divide one more, I divide one more, one more, one more. And then same here. And with the shadow, I'll do the same thing. It's a straight line. That is a dark, so I have divided here. This one is here. So this is what I call is a geometrical drawing. What you see are different shapes inside based on the light and the darkness. And after doing that, then you can start coloring those. So dark color, you can use dark color. 
And for the light, you can just bring light colors. Or even you can make it more beautiful by changing colors. And you can just go with your imaginations and fill it up with the different colors. So that's, that's what this was done. I'm going to clear my old drawings now. So this was done exactly the same way. Now, only different is this was done using, um, I think, Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape or some computer applications, okay? And I'm going to show you how uh, you can do it traditional without using a computer application for that. Um, you can you can use computer application for that. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you're going to apply. You will do the same thing what I have just shown you. But before jump into computer, you must learn how to draw using pencil on a paper. I have seen uh, lots of kids. They are they are good on animations and drawing on computer, but when it comes to the draw on a piece of paper, they are having difficulty. So uh, I'm going to use my desk, drawing desk, and I will go through this exercise. Now, before I do this, I want you to take a screenshot of uh, this drawing. Just take a screenshot or take a camera, use your smart camera to take a screenshot because once I move my screen, you may not be able to see those. So I'll give you a few seconds to do that. Guys, done? Okay, so if you have questions, then you can use Q&A, and I have a Ruhi with me, I have a Nahid with me, and uh, they're going to answer. So let me switch this to my screen into different camera. So what I'm going to do, I will show you how we can draw this uh, using a straight line, okay? So now this is the time uh, you, can, you can follow me and um, have your uh, drawing paper and pencil handy, and we're going to work on that, okay? Now the drawing, when, when you start drawing, you need to make sure that how you're going to keep your drawing paper. Are you going to keep your drawing paper like this? Let me show you on the black background so you can see it. Are you going to keep paper like this? Or like this? Now, it, this is mostly depend upon the, uh, the drawing, right? Uh, how does the drawing look like? So, for so if you're keeping pen paper like this, this called landscape format, okay? And if you are keeping your paper like this, this is a portrait. So for this drawing, I'm going to use a portrait uh, because I feel like it, number one. And second, uh, the pose of the bird is in portrait. So I'm going to use this one, okay? So you decide which one is best for you guys. So, uh, so let's get a start on this. How are we going to do this? I believe you have that reference drawing with in front of you. You guys have taken a picture or a snapshot of the drawing. Okay, so based on the drawing, so what I'm going to do, I will first draw a one first rectangular from here to here. So you 
draw the rectangular like this. So this is my page, it starts from here, ends here, and I draw one rectangular. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow uh, the lines, uh, what I see in the reference drawing. So how I'm going to do this things, I'm going to start, let's say I'm going to start from here, from somewhere here, I'm going to draw us one line like this. So let's do that. going to draw one line. Let me see if I have a copy of that drawing that would make it easy to show you guys. So this is one of the, this is a similar type of bird. So what I did here, this line represents this line. Got it? So I, I'm drawing one line like this. So, and then I'll continue and I will draw another line, the small line from here like that. Just a little, it's going curve and then I will do a straight line like this. I think this is a little bit on the other side. So I'll do the straight line a little bit inside here. And then here, I'll do another one for the head. And then another line. So, you know, the best way is, it's hard to follow what I'm doing here. So, uh, do you have, uh, have you taken picture of the drawing? So what I'm going to do is, I will draw at my end and you guys can draw at your end. Would you like to do that? Or you want to go, you want to follow what I'm doing here? Ruhi, could you write the poll on that? Follow, somebody says follow. Yes, follow, follow. Okay, let's follow. Okay, so we're going to start with the one line here. And then we did one line here and then another line, this and this. And then I'm going to do one line inside like this, here, like that. So there are a bunch of lines, one, two, three, four. So this is what it is. If you have that, those pictures, so you can draw one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five six, depend upon, you can make short lines or you can make bigger lines. And then I'll do one line like this. And I'll do one line here like that. The one line goes like this. Then the line goes like this. Line goes like this. Go like this. this so there are nothing but bunch of straight line and underneath the branch we're going to continue like this
like this. I don't have, I'm out of room here. That's fine. We can just keep it like that. Okay. Okay, so, so here one line and here one line. So this is the branch, bird is sitting on the branch. This is the tail of the crow. Draw a little darker, okay. Let me draw everything again one more time, little darker. So you start with this line. Okay. And then I started here one line like this. So this is about like, let's say two inch of line. And then again, two inch of line here. Now you don't have to measure it is two inch or two and a half, just, just do a small line close to two inch. Now this is another good example. If you don't know the, uh, how big one inch, two inch, three inch, then th this is, you can do it at home. You draw one line and measure it. If this is one inch or two inch, and then without measuring, just keep drawing. Estimate, this is two inch. This is three inch, this is four inch, and then measure it and see how accurate you are. This is a good example, this could be a challenge. So do like two inch. Now this could be about like three inch of line, then one inch of line here, then about half an inch here. Here I'm gonna draw one con like this. Now I know that if you are behind and there's maybe a little frustrations. So what I advise all of the kids, those who are watching, if you are behind, you cannot follow this one, that's fine. You watch this and then you pick uh, any, any theme, any, any drawing that you like and change that drawing into the straight line like this, okay? Or you can, I will also give you a recording for this so you can re, re, again, you can watch this. And the cone is here. This is here. Another half an inch. inch. Another two inch and then another one. So you don't have to match exactly what I'm doing. Think about the bird. How does bird look like? And work on that, okay? And then here, do like that. Now I'm going to add a couple of fingers here, the sharp. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna just do a triangle here. One. Like this, two line. This looks like a triangle, right? Do like that. I'm not, this line is not attached. There are two lines. One going on the, this uh, right side angle, this is going like kind of a straight. And then what you do here, you can make a curve and do like that. So everything is in geometrical shape in the straight lines. And then we're going to add more shapes here inside when we're gonna work with light and dark shadows. And here, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to start from here and I add one line.
I do like this. Same thing, what I did here. Did you see the same line? This time, little bit bigger line. And I'll do the same thing like this. Like that. And I'll do another one, triangle like this. So it, it feels like it's holding this branch. It's sitting on a branch. Now here, I'm going to add I. Even the I is actually a little small circle or oval. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw I in the shape. And you can come up with any shape that you like even in sight, I can make shape. You can do a square or triangles or whatever the shape do you like. Just don't, we are, what, what we are not doing is we are not drawing any circles or oval. So, if we have a circle, if I have circle, then how I'm going to change into the line if I have a circle? So, so if I have this circle, so I'm going to do like this. Straight line, line, line. So I'm, I'm changing into geometrical shape by drawing those lines. So this is not circle, circle change into the, some geometrical shapes. So, If anyone is behind and wants to me repeat something, just let us know in Q&A. So this is actually the bird, the way I see here. This may be a little, little change, but you know. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add some 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 shades here, the light, where the light is coming, dark. We're going to separate the dark and light. So let me switch back to the screen and show you what I mean, okay? So let's go down to the... So this is what we did so far. We come up with those all lines around here. So we did line here and then we line here and line here, and line here, and line here. So at, at home, you can just take any object and look for the straight lines and just create lines. So this is, this is what we did. It's so easy to do it. Right? Now what I'm going to do is I will separate this line based on the light and dark. So I said, okay, this can be done like this. This can be go like this. This can be done like this. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do it. So let me switch back to show you. Okay, so now I will go uh, on the top of the drawing here, let me see how the drawing looks like. Now this one, here I'm going to bring some one change here. So this is corner, only this one, I'm going to make it little curve. Okay, and I'm going to make this and join like this. This gives much better look here, right? So this is like that. And same here, this one, I'm going to make a little curve. And like this. Got it? So it just brings some reality. And then, this goes like this, this line, I'm going to extend this line. 
And this is actually the face. And I'm going to draw one line here. And then I'll do one line here. Okay. I'm going a little slow, so I want you to, everybody, follow me. And from the eye, I'm going to bring one line here and one line like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me go back. Someone is asking to see the screen again. Okay, so let me go back on this. So yellow lines are gone, so I have to redo it again. So let me do it, no worries. Let me use some different colors so you can see it much clearly. So here are my lines here. Straight lines, straight lines. Now this should be easy drawing than the realistic drawing, right? In realistic drawing, we try to bring realism. Here, this is abstract, right? You can't go wrong with this. And here like this, like this, like this, like this. All right. And this is the eye. And here I did one big line in my drawing. And this is the line I extended. And I made something like this. Okay. Now, shall I go back to my drawing? Okay, good. So let me go back and let's complete this. Okay, so this is what we got. And now this is what exactly I show you in the drawing. So now I will continue working on that. I'm going to make one. This portion is the light because a lot of light is coming from here. So I'm going to make this portion a little lighter. So I will do like that. Okay. Now it looks much um, more geometrical if when we are making any lines, then make sure that you connect with the joints. So what I mean, I had option to draw this line like this also, or like this also, right? You can do that, but you know, you start with using this joints rather than drawing in the middle you can add middle lines once you connect all the darts, all the joints. That, it's not a, not a rule kind of that you have to do it. That's the way I do. So if you don't feel like it, then there's, as I said always, there's no right, there's no wrong in art. So you can do that. Now I'm going to do another shade. I will use this dart here, this joint. And I'll do like that. So it's, it's a good idea. Like when you are learning, you can also put all darts wherever the joints are. It will tell you then how you can connect. And then further, you can add line as needed based on the light and dark. So I'll do like that. And then I will connect this one with here. This dot, uh, I can do like that. Here is one shadow like this. Now, here kind of little challenge because the light is coming in different ways. So I'll do like that, one light 
this is kind of light and this is dark so I'm making a different section for that the best way is if you have this reference drawing you check it out and based on what you see in your screen and then you started making this different sections now I can draw in the middle here and then here I can draw another line here and I can separate it out now even on the top here I have this one here I'm going to make change because it's not like this actually this goes further down like that this is a big mouth okay so I'm going to make some change here this I'm going to open this this mouth is not like that it's like this All right make sense and this one I'm going to change here this one I'm going to make it here like this and like that and I'm going to attach with this So this is actually in reality it going like this. So you can check your own reference drawing. I know it, this gets a lot of complication here, so many lines. It, it, will, it may be a frustration if you are exactly following what I'm doing. So it's very important that you check your reference drawing that you have. Okay, so let me do the pick part again on a different paper. So I'm gonna show you again the pick part here, okay? In a different. So let's say we have this and this, okay? The pick part is I'm going to start from from here like this. I start it and then I'll make another line like this. And then I'll, I'll join like this. And then I go like this and like this. So one cone and then actually two cones joining together with one line so two cones joining together so and then at the inside you can do like this like this and this and this one goes like this, this for the head, and what I did here, I, I create another line the way I see, and I create it like that. Okay, so again, let's go back here. It's the same line. So check it out, your reference drawing on this. Now, once you've done this, then you start, if you have color pencils, you can use your color pencils. And I just like to use my pencils all the time. Um, I like charcoal and graphite pencils. So, if you have color pencils, you can use color and make this colorful. So let's say if, where the light colors coming, you can use uh, yellow to 
are light yellow or light green, and then you can make it dark green where the more darkness is. So, or you can use pink, light pink, and the red with the combination. So you bring those contrast and make your drawing beautiful, just like uh, we have here. So let me go back and sh show you this. And I have, so let's say I'm going to do this one dark. I will keep this one in the middle, like not very dark, not very light. Okay, I'm going to do very, very light this one. I'm going to do very dark this one. And I can even do different patterns inside. So let's say I can do different patterns. So I'm just playing with this. So, and that is the fun. So I'm drawing different patterns. You draw different patterns here. And inside I can make it dark, bring some contrast between the pattern and the dark. Here for the eye, I can make it dark inside. And I can just bring, keep it this white inside. This you can keep light. I will make this dark. And same here, you can just bring some, can make it a little darker, this one, because I see more, less light in this area. This I can keep a little lighter. And you can also divide those things so you can see each line nicely. Right. I can make this a little lighter. So you guys can just with, go with your imaginations and think about where the light is coming and just start working on that. I can make pattern here. And same here, this is more darker and I will make it more darker here. So if you have color pencil that gives you, uh, you can create more depth by using different color pencils and bring more beauty. Hmm? I froze. You cannot see? You can see now. Can you see the instructor moving? Please answer the poll. Can you see the instructor moving? Okay. I think it works now. Okay. So now I'm going to do the same here at the edge.
So that's all. So this is done. I was I was doing the same thing in the different class yesterday. Uh, and this is what I did uh, yesterday when I was teaching in my studio classes. So uh, the same thing. You just come up with different lines. Here I'm just making little darker lines. Now you can see that the how this one is a little different than what I did today. And see. Right. I think this one, uh, if I can make it a little more, I create some go like this, then it could be much better. So you can then change those things uh, by looking at the object and bring some changes if you like. So I can do like that. Which, because I think the head is a little bigger than what I drew. So, so that's all about today. Uh, and I just want to share that uh, when you are drawing, just don't, don't, don't always ask what I am drawing, what I am drawing. You come up with your own ideas and 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 do something different in your drawing. So this is the one way of drawing. You can bring a lot of geometry, geometrical drawings, ideas, what you are learning in the school in your drawing. Hopefully, we'll do more like this, and I will bring uh, more uh, theme, uh, geometrical theme in the class. That's going to help uh, you guys a lot. So thank you so much. I hope you, this, you have learned something today and the recordings will be available and I'm going to share it with all of you. So I got to go now. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Bye.